What's going down, everybody? It's that guy, Mile High. Tuning back in for episode 22 of the Cushion Coffee Morning Show. Gang, gang, gang. And uh, today I got two guests with me today. We got Turner One Tag with me. Y'all have met him. It's my dog. And we also got my homie Josh, who's actually the owner, one of the owners and operators of High Grade. You know what I'm saying? You know, help, help uh, me bring the 10K situation to life. This is his brand. Uh, gave me the idea and was like, yo, here we go. So shout out to you, man. How are y'all doing this morning? Shit, I'm good, bro. I'm <laughs> high as hell already. I feel that. I feel that. I already had my, my first morning waking bake. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? Yeah, what, me too. What about you, Eric? You chilling over there? I'm feeling good, man. Yeah. It's Tuesday. Yes. Yeah, it's I'm here. I'm here. We, we, we uh, in our first week of February, you know, it's a great thing because this, this whole podcast adventure has been something that has been a blessing. And I'm, I'm having a great time doing it. I'm having great guests like, you know, you gentlemen on. Yes. You know, we've had Ashley on. Um, and then me and Eric, we just be getting up having some fun and just yeah. bullshitting in the morning. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Hella yeah. early. That's right. So, uh, but yeah, let's just jump into this, man. And actually, before we actually jump into that, yo, Josh, yo. introduce yourself a little bit, man. Let's let the people know who, who you are. We're going to do an interview. Uh, we got the interview coming, but yeah. let, let the people know a little bit about you a little bit. So, um, I work with high grade. <laughs> so modest. I've I yeah, work no, with no, high grade. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. man, you you are, you you are a black man who owns a cannabis company, and that's not yeah. something that's you know widespread, brother. Like that's yeah. that's some good shit. Like let it the is. people know, man. Um, like this this is a long road for you, bro. Yeah, definitely still going. Um, but you know, I'm always just modest. Yeah. I know. I'm <laughs> trying trying to get them to flex on y'all just a little no, bit, just a little bit. You no, know what I'm saying? Because no, it's a it's an amazing feat. No, but we did have some major accomplishments in the last couple of days. I bet. Or high grades. So. Hell yeah, bro. You you look like you in some real good spirits right now, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of different spirits than a couple weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> for sure. Me, Hell yeah. Well, what? For sure. We'll get that interview. We got to get that scheduled, too. Yeah. And y'all will get the in-depth story about, you know, high grade, Josh, his, his come up. Um, and, and even some of like, you know, we'll get in, we'll dive into some real deep shit. Because yeah. that, sh- that story is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's an inspiration in, in, in itself. But, uh. Let's jump into this cannabis news, man. Let's just spark up. You know, everybody do what you do. Oh, Hope you got your coffee and shit. I know I'm the only one with coffee in this motherfucker. You know, on the Cushion Coffee yeah, Morning yeah, Show. I tried to bring something out today, but <laughs> I can only do that shit every once in a while. I was so late that I didn't have no chance to get no tea or nothing. He said nothing. You got to speak up in the mic, bro. Yeah. But yeah, we got the, we got, we're going to jump to Montana. So we got the Montana governor trying to do... Uh, Something dope, in my opinion. Something that I have yet to really see from any state other than, like, an Oregon who, you know, just recently legalized or decriminalized all drugs. Yeah. And kind of focused their efforts on trying to help people and not harm people and, you know, cause more riff in people's lives that are already going through it. Yeah. Um, and Montana's kind of taking an approach at that. So they have a really bad meth problem. Like, bad, apparently. Like, to the point that the governor is addressing it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the reason I bring it up in a, on a cannabis news situation is because they want to use and allocate some of those tax dollars for, like, treatment centers and stuff like that. Which okay, I so think is it, yeah, dope. Yeah, it back in the community. They're yeah. trying to help these people. I they're think dope. that's dope. Like uh, they're getting a lot of pushback. Yeah. But the reason for it is because when the voter initiative, like, you know, all the voters voted on legalizing marijuana, mm-hmm. um, that was not a part of the plan initially you know scott storch and steve labelle have a, a rehab center i didn't know that you know? See, look, man, you see? see this is why we have motherfuckers on like you bro, yeah. because i didn't know that i did not know Strictly that for cannabis that's dope that's see? super dope that especially is. coming from scott storch yeah <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know that that's fire but uh yeah i think that'd be a good move for montana you know what i'm saying like t- and, and it kind of really drives home the fact that like the war on drugs, mm-hmm. you know, or on cannabis, you know, specifically was just dumb and a waste of money. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? The fact that now we're talking about allocating weed dollars or tax dollars that were generated from cannabis to help combat the issues with other drugs. And then not only that too, but just last week we were talking about a story where, uh, all of 2020, they were able to basically see that the amount of Cannabis use went up and surpassed and actually helped bring down the use of like cocaine. cocaine yeah. Yeah. All the other yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So, like, this There's is a like lot just. Of cokeheads out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, this is a good play, in my opinion, for, for, for Montana. What, like, what do y'all feel about that? Like, 
if you were in in that state and even just being cannabis lovers, like how does that make you feel that you know they want to do that? That's a slippery slope. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know how to um, how to approach that situation. <laughs> I like how both y'all. You know what? <laughs> Fuck that. We ain't getting into that. No, you know, I, I mean, for for me personally, though, like I just think that the more that we do to you know help better the community with the tax money and not trying to pad That's you know politicians like pockets yeah. and you know that bullshit like for instance the schools like i i definitely understand why schools are like you know we don't want the money because it's drug money but you know what y'all need the money take this you yeah. know what i'm yeah, saying yeah, like yeah. my kids deserve to be able to have the best education or all the you know proper tools if it's able to be obtained you know via this money like yeah. nobody gives a damn where that money came from you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, let's yeah, be no, real. I agree on that. So, and, and and I think this is just another one of those examples of, like, where we should be allocating this money to, you know, give help to the people who need it. Because we all, I think we can all agree here that cannabis is definitely a drug, or not a drug, but a, a plant that can help you get off of something. Yeah. And I've had hella stories and heard hella stories from people who were like, yo, I used to be on crack or meth or, you know, pills or whatever. Drinking. Yeah. yeah, drinking and switch to cannabis. The so question is this, right? Where is the allocation of like alcohol funds go? The, I, bruh, I saw him. Exactly. Uh, bruh, mm. you exactly. know what I mean? Just <laughs> dog good question because everybody like, great allocate question. the weed, allocate Facts. this to do that. But where does the alcohol money go? Where is that's that real allocated? shit? Yeah. Or some of these other, um, even tobacco mm -hmm. and firearms. Where is all that money allocated? Right. And why does cannabis have to be? I agree. You that is I mean? a good Why question. Have to determine like, oh, cannabis needs to be allocated this way, when cannabis really is for the people. Like, yeah. And that's so crazy that you say that because the people that are giving the pushback, that's pretty much their argument is that 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 the cannabis money has already been like we we voted for what we wanted it to be used for. So why you know are you guys trying to come back and basically like reallocate the money? Like, you know what I'm saying? And right. so it's crazy that you have that argument because that's actually a, a, a actual a argument point. that they're yeah. having. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And trying to justify. Um, and that's a that's a great point, you know, yeah. that I hope that yeah. somebody out there in Montana has brought up. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a good point just to really divulge all that information to figure out, all right, well, you know, that's cool. We, we'll pay our part. Yeah. But what is the rest of these motherfuckers doing? Right, man. You know what I'm saying? What is the rest of these motherfucking industries doing that that, you know, that why they can't help. Collective yeah, like, why they you know, can't help. I agree. All the industries put into a pot and then they just allocate from that fund. Yeah, no, that's 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 a good that's a good yeah, that's a good point for sure. But uh, you know, mo moving on to to some other news. So we got a full democratic like controlled government at this point pretty much. Like mm -hmm. It's pretty much determined at this point. I think there's a lot of people that are leaning. I think we're we're at like a I'd say a 70% we're going to legalize here in the next couple of years. Will we all agree? So, I, I agree. So, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I'd agree. Um, and with that being said, we got the House controlling uh, Democrat, or the Senate Majority Leader, sorry, Chuck Schumer, and two other Democratic uh, senators who are basically kind of like confirming that. Like they finally made kind of like some official statements of like cannabis legalization is going to be like priority. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we want to go through. ahead and take it off of the whole classification stuff and blah, 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 and stop scheduling. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that. Okay. So it looks good. I think that we're, we're moving see. in a positive direction yeah. with this whole <laughs> legalization right. situation. And uh, the reason I even kind of bring that up is because I stumbled across this this article. Yes. You ever heard of the pot shop? No. It's no out of Cali? Tell me. Nope. Bro. No. Okay. <laughs> you, can, you can order and get some shit shipped to you in all 50 states. Straight out of Cali. Like anything? Anything. Flour, concentrate, edibles. Edibles, all this time. Whatever. No shit. Is this unknown? Yeah. For, no, bro, I'm, I'm re I found the article. I'll oh, okay, show it okay. to you. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll show it to you. <laughs> That's what, it was unknown to me and you and all of us in this room until I'm right now. I'm just now finding out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it, and it, <laughs> look, <laughs> look, and this, and this is what fucked me up is the whole all 50 states thing. Okay, and not only does it say it's shipping to all 50 states, it's saying it's shipping to all 50 states despite the fact that it's still federally illegal. So they, they know and it. are fully aware that it's illegal, but they're still just like, fuck it. Yeah, we're going to be ahead of the curve. 
Someone's got to do it. And literally, if you had, I, I, I was too interested. I had to go find the pot shop. I went to their website. And is it official? It, on their website, dead ass <laughs> says, orders $300 or more will get shipping to all 50 states. I think look, look at everybody. Look at it. Look at his face right there. You know, scamming, bruh. They got. I, look, I'm gonna show That's you my computer. Weed. Look, concentrates. Uh, hold on. Look, I'm going to the shop. Look, we're going to the shop. Look, they got the indica hybrid sativa. So all your flower options, vaporizers, concentrates, edibles, pre rolls, topicals, and essentials. And look, I'll go into. The, let's just click on some flower. Oh, right now they got. Oh, and they got the bare rocks, and they're. One hundred and five dollars for an eighth for this moon rocks right here. <laughs> oh, hell no. And then they got that shit oh yeah. shit. Okay, the flower is twenty five dollars a gram. Mm. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. I'm gonna go click on this one. This well, got to risk it, shit. <laughs> <laughs> right? Look, 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 at that, look at that. So twenty five dollars a gram. I guarantee there's sixty an eighth. And then we got the ounces for this particular strain, the, the Billy Kimber OG, 390 an ounce. Dog. That is crazy. But yeah, look, I'm gonna go straight to I'm gonna go back to the main thing so you can see what I saw when I first came on here. Free express shipping <laughs> for three hundred dollars and more. How convenient shipping this is to be all really fifty happens. states. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be the Amazon of weed. Yep. Dog. They are fun. on it. They are like, we don't care about whatever. Situations yeah. come with this. We about to be the first. That shit is gonna be crazy once shit really gets like that, bro. Bro, like, like it's Root. crazy. And look, and look, and then not only that, to spread the word, they have an Instagram unboxing discount. <laughs> yeah. Send us your unboxing yeah, they're, photos they're legit, yeah. and th- with thank you hashtag the pot shop dot cc and get ten dollar discount on your next order. Someone's going to jail. <laughs> Dog. And then and then look at this. Then they even got you some motherfucking Bitcoin you could get on here. 10% off Bitcoin. You would get 10% oh, if you use Bitcoin. Per- <laughs> yeah. So, so if they if you spend or uh, purchase it with the Bitcoin, then they'll give you 10% off. Well, for them, well, you don't want to tell their business. <laughs> nah, man. You, if you if you know something that we don't know, that's what we are here for. I don't have no attachment to these people. No, no, I'm just trying to figure it out. It, which is perfect for them. I, again, I, you know. It's but it's untraceable if you use Bitcoin, because that that's it says that you'll just get ten percent off if you purchase it using the Bitcoin, so that you can still use your Mastercard or your Visa. But maybe they <laughs> maybe they're transferring your. Oh, I'm sure they're probably doing something uh, with the money on the back you know end. I mean? Reinvesting no, 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 no. it somewhere. I mean, like, so that they can ship it out. Did you ever think like maybe Yeah, so that like that it's that like a loophole. Still, it's a gray. It's, 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 it's untraceable. Yeah. Right? yeah. I wonder I wonder here. I'm about to I'm about to we're about to it we're about to test something real quick. Right. right. I'm gonna I'm gonna click on something okay, and go not? to the sh- the the checkout and just see what happens. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Add this to cart. You gotta figure out what's going on. Fuck it, we're gonna figure this out. They're bold to do it. I like it though. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a um, like a oh, and look, and they like a wee boy or a Robin Hood of weed. Proceed to check right. out. Let's see what happens. Money and taking it to a fraction. Right. Oh lord. Yeah, you could use you could use Google Pay. <laughs> Hell yeah, these niggas will let you use Google Pay. <laughs> They're pioneering right bitcoins. Now. You can Bitcoin with Cash App. That has to be the feds. Western, <laughs> you, you can Western Union payment these niggas. <laughs> you can sure. money grant right, payment right. these niggas. Or someone's scamming hard, so bruh. Yeah. Either, either, bruh. It's the feds or someone's scamming. They are, they are accepting money gram, Western Union payments, Bitcoin with Cash App, Bitcoin with Altcoin, uh, and then Google Pay, obviously, which we will allow you to use any sort of debit card that you'd want. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think that might be a uh, that might be a mid grade of the day situation right there. I don't know if I you know what I'm saying. I might, I think it is. That that might of the day for either sure. either that or this next story. Okay. All right. We might have a mid grade of the day situation. What's Somebody of the day. It, it, some bullshit. You, yeah, some bullshit, bro. You ever heard of donkey of the day? Got you. Got Shout out to Charlemagne. You, we do mid grade of the day over here. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody wants to be the mids. Nobody wants to be the mids. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Nobody wants to be the mid pack. I, I'm telling you. But uh, we got somebody who was trapping like a baby. 
the other day, right? Yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He was trapping like <laughs> he was he was trapping like a baby. He he got caught in what state it was, was Utah, it? Utah was it? It was Utah, yeah. and they was like he made headlines and he had less than a pound and seven grams of concentrate. This shit made headlines. And, and it was like, oh my god. Well, out in uh, California, in San Diego, to be exact, the Coast Guard found a uh, shipment of some stuff in the ocean that was eleven thousand four hundred pounds of cocaine <laughs> and 9,000 pounds of weed. Jesus. Just, yeah, that they just kind of intercepted. Somebody dropped it off. Somebody, Somebody was probably supposed to come pick it up. <laughs> Didn't quite make it in time. How many kilos? Yeah, oh, my God. Someone's Dog, gonna somebody's getting in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, somebody just got taken out in the cartel. I'm just saying. Somebody <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> just what it is. But, yeah, that's that's crazy, man. Like, 11,400 pounds of cocaine and 9,000 pounds of weed. I hit, I like, seen, these I are so common now. When I got to coke, uh, use went down. Yeah, oh, I mean, it here, did. Here in but, Colorado. No, no, that was that it, everywhere. That was L- yeah, everywhere okay, that, that it was, like what, overall. Eleven thousand pounds of coke found. Yeah, on but they got But you got to. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to remember, they were bringing in way more than that though. At one point, uh, and the weed, it not being so much, like you know, nine thousand pounds. Like you can get hella weed here. Like why bring that when you could just get that shit here? But yeah, but that is a lot of fucking smoke, coke smoke on the low. <laughs> Dog, oh, how many? Dog, bro. sprinkling it with it or some shit. Primos are on the low. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of coke um it doesn't quite give like the street value of that but i'm assuming that's millions of dollars that somebody lost you yeah, know what i'm crazy. saying like there's no if ands or buts about it somebody lost Dude, millions they just of lost dollars. the shit bit if they lost that one you got to imagine they three or four made it yep <laughs> that's true you got to <laughs> yeah. sacrifice one to get yeah, full yeah, across yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying somebody got i do feel you on that they had to give yeah. give them a bone huh Thanks. here you go here you can have this one yeah we you got, know the we got some larger ones chest. all them fucking pounds yeah man. you're yeah, trying to give up some pawns and shit so that you can no, get ahead do you know the true meaning of chess i mean i don't play chess enough to to have Me the either. true I'm meaning chess to play, right? <laughs> but, no dead ass so when i started reading on it right mm-hmm. you know that if a pawn makes it across it can become anything that it wants oh yeah so if you have to take that representation to like the people and then like the shit that we do. Mm-hmm. So correlate this like the pawn, the first three pawns made it across. They about to be up everybody's nose. Facts. One pawn got caught. That's that's some game right there. <laughs> Spin game. Oh man. Well shit. With that game being said, you know we got. I don't have nothing else to say to that. I'm gonna move on to the next goddamn <laughs> story because that was some shit. That was some good shit right there. Uh, we're gonna go to Kansas though. So Kansas has been one of those states that's, you know, like been on the cusp. Like they have conversations about it. You know, they started to, uh, you know, propose, you know, like a full on legalization situation. Um, but can- or Kansas is now kind of or their governor is doing something dope that I've never seen as well. They're trying to use tax revenue dollars to help expand their Medicaid or like the uh yeah, their Medicaid situation. So more people you know what I'm saying? Insurance. So more people yeah. have insurance. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're trying to expand it to like 165,000 more people. Yeah, which yeah. is like the only thing that's ever stopped them from being able to do that was money. Right. Like, you know, it costs money to, to, to yeah. give people free health care and shit. Like, because it's not really free. It's right. Somebody's paying for it, right? right? So they're basically, she's proposing like, all right, well, let's just do this legalization thing. The amount of money that we could make from this could be amazing Mm -hmm. and it could pay for these different projects and this program that we want to help our people yeah so i think it's another dope situation of like people trying to think outside the box and really put these uh you know the cannabis revenue dollars if you're gonna take it i'd rather you do something with it you know that's the one (laughs) thing like we can still go back to the same argument you know that we had about the montana like well, why isn't everyone else helping you know neither Mm -hmm. here nor there politics it is what it is but if you are gonna take it and you make me pay these astronomical fucking taxes on cannabis at least do something show positive something. with yeah, it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Show what you're doing with like, it. Yeah, show at least receipts. do something that we can, <laughs> you know, we can get behind. Though, right? Is to track the actual program itself because it's like anytime a, a law is created, a uh, new business is formed. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So when they be like, yo, we about to start these programs, it'd be like, all right, cool. They got executive, uh, this director. Now you got 20 different people who hired on this program, right? And yeah. really, truly, how, how effective does it get to the people that's that's real yeah and that's and, and, and a great example of that is remember i want to say it was maybe two weeks ago 
Um, I had brought up a story about, you know, all the different programs um, that, like, Illinois and a few other states yeah. are trying to do with, like, yeah, yeah. these, uh, um, like, reform, reform programs, yeah. essentially, where they're reform. basically, they're trying to help all the proportionally, uh, disproportionate affected people or people who were disproportionately affected by the war on drugs. So people such as yourself, like, let's yeah. say you had a felony and went to jail for some sort of, you know, weed-related yeah. situation. They would prioritize you, or at least they're sp- supposed to prioritize you to help you get a license, uh, help you get an, uh, up and running. Some of the states even have, like, program. Uh, the program helps get business, you yeah. know, degrees and, you know, stuff like that together so, you know, you're not just walking into this situation kind of unknowing. Um, but a lot of those programs are failing. Like the expungement program? Not even just the, no, these are, these are actual programs to help get, uh, like minorities into the industry so that they can actually have a controlling oh, like state. Oh, equity program right. and everything. Yeah, and that's why talking. I said okay, this okay. earlier when I introduced you, why that's super important that I felt you say, like, you know, I'm a black owner yeah. of a cannabis company. I don't, you just don't work. Yeah. Like, and, and I think it's important to say that you're a black owner because there's not a lot. And you know that from experience. Even here in Colorado, mm-hmm. there's yeah, what, yeah. three or four? I would say about 12. Okay, still, yeah. <laughs> but but at, but at the end at the end of the it's day, but at, lot, but at bro. the end of the day, seven hundred fifty, right? Devices. And even those twelve, like all of them aren't complete owners. Yeah, all of them, you know, don't have like a real say so, like they should. Yeah. So let's be real, like that's not you know what I'm saying. There's at least I'd say four or five that actually own the business 100%. and don't have yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah. worry about anybody else's say so. It's their say so, and Maybe that's fucking it. So that's what I'm, that's that's what these programs were supposed to do is to help make sure that you know you guys were able to have control of the of your business and yeah. have a stake and build you know just like any other you know group has been able to Thanks. and that hasn't really happened you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah. so that's a perfect example of just like you not being able to really control your narrative control yeah uh-huh. you know or control you know the idea of what's actually happening behind the closed doors with these programs you know it looks great on the surface and you know in the tabloids and shit you know when you're reading it but when it's when nothing's actually being done in the back or there's not enough people allocated to actually help push that narrative you know forward uh-huh. it's just kind of sitting in the water you know what i'm saying go for it how um do you think social equity is a form of sharecropping uh, kind of, right. but, but I think that it, how important is it to you? I think that we need it because our, our dollar is one of the most important dollars, but why do we need social equity to be involved with an industry that we, we don't, created? we don't, mm. we don't. But at the end of the day, when you're looking at how the, when all the, how all the laws and everything else are being written, yeah. we're not a part of them. You know what I'm saying? Like we, and we know what's really going down and how these laws could be changed. Or these rules can be manipulated to really help and benefit everyone yeah you know what i'm saying like so we need to have a voice in the conversation yeah and the only way to do it is to have foot in the game like the idea of sitting there going and creating a wakanda is great right but the realisticness of it isn't a hundred percent there right like we still have to still you know we still need to get people in places to to achieve some things that we've never done you know what i'm saying like obama was great but, you know, that was just one phase. You know, Kamala Harris is great, but that's just another phase. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all have to play our part and, and you know, gain this social equity, you know, on all levels. Thanks. So that's why yeah. it's important. You know what I'm saying? And the only way to do gym? it is to play the politics, play the game. I'll give you yep. a gym, right? So a White House correspondent told, told me directly, black people or minorities in general have only penetrated 3% of any market. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when you even this one right now, still, I think we still have saying? less than three percent in the cannabis industry, and we have we spend the most money. Yeah, that's the crazy part about it. Yeah. So that means uniform and unity, right? Being able to now allocate our funds, like, all right, cool, we have to buy our shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Whether it's top top tier looking like Louis Vuitton, or if it's bottom tier looking like uh, Skull Vodka. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We still gotta support each other in between, um, and I Facts. think that's where the missing part is. Like, it's okay to go buy a white man's product. It's okay to go buy somebody else's product, right? But at the same time, make sure that you spun. We gotta keep the dollar yeah, in in, in circulation yeah, in our community yeah, longer. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, it's so crazy. I don't. I know the numbers. They might have changed. Uh, you know, with the pandemic and all that stuff. But I remember the last time I looked at that, black people or the black community had 
literally kept a dollar in circulation for like less than a minute or some shit. Yeah. Six hours, yeah, I seen that. Yeah, it was it was crazy. It was some crazy short amount of time. Like when you look at all the other different kinds of you know groups of people, yeah. like people were going days yeah. keeping a dollar in in circulation in their communities, and literally the black community was like, as soon as they got it, they spent it. But that's so hard yeah. for us, though, right? Because yeah, you, you, I mean, you we're we're, we're hard ride to, to that too. But too though, and we, can't we don't go have to enough, right? And go like, all right, cool. I can't go to like, I can come buy a shirt from you, right? But I can't go down the street and go to the grocery store. He it's owned by a black man. I can go to the cell phone store. It's owned by a black man. I can go to the uh, light light company. It's owned by a black man, right? Mm-hmm. So in retrospect, when we get our money, the the Walmart it's owned by some white dude. The uh, gas station owned by some Arabs or Chinese. You know what I mean? The liquor store owned by some. Mexicans are Arabs. You see what I'm saying? So it's not really a lot that we got going on in our own spaces. So it's hard to allocate the Facts. funds unless we all gonna start growing our own vegetables and all that shit, right? Yeah. So, yeah. but and and see that goes back to why I was saying it's super important for us to start penetrating, you know, the market. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, because sir. until we start having people in all levels kind of showing away, mm-hmm. every second, you know, we we're not gonna have you know our own shops that we can go support that are black owned and there's not going to be a whole lot of high grades you know what i'm saying like that's that's the reality there's can you not specify every sector so that like even cuz i know we had some conversations right but on every sector letting people know that every sector means every sector right oh it people really does the, it really does from revenue, yeah from from of, yeah from the military to you know the highest levels of the senate you know like like i said i mentioned obama we mentioned kamala harris you know what i'm saying like these are people who are making a way and showing that it's possible you know they may not be the ones that change the situation right but until we had the the, the vision to see that it was possible cuz not everybody's going to be the president right like that's that's an unrealistic goal but the idea that it, that somebody else of that looks like me could be that that's possible again like that opens up a it's whole different takes. world yeah. of like possibilities in in everything you know what i'm saying like I, I when i came into the cannabis industry i was just happy and content being a part of it yeah but then that soon became not enough because i knew that i could do more yeah. and i saw that there was a lack of you know diversity in the situation when you got to higher levels Thanks. of certain situations. And then that was really awkward because there's no one that looks like me in the room, you know? And that's crazy to think, like, you know what I'm saying? And that was something that I wanted to change. And that was a big inspiration before I walked away and wanted to start my own stuff. And I still have the goal. There's a, there's a specific dispenser I worked for that when I walked away, I said, one day I will come back and buy this place. And I still believe that shit. Definitely. I will I will buy that place. You know what I'm saying? Because I put so much into it, and I believe that I could take it to you know heights that it, had, it could never fucking reach in the hands of somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it, it's important to just know that from every level of of everything, whether it's construction, fucking being a doctor, a lawyer, whatever. Like we need people like like us to represent us in all levels of of all that. You know what I'm saying? So Facts. yeah, it's super important. Absolutely. Facts. Yeah, but uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and uh, end this one. No, I think that's a good place to end. You know what I'm saying? All some good shit right there. You know, I want to give a big shout out to my my homies for coming and hanging out. Yeah. Turner, you've become a real regular on this motherfucker. We got to get you a robe, dog, because you're pretty <laughs> much a regular now. <laughs> you're a regular, man. You're <laughs> be, regular, my G. Be here at least you know. two, three times out the week now. You know. Josh, you're more than welcome to come Please. hang out with us anytime. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what we'll be doing. Check out High Grade. Go yeah. Oh yeah. We buy. We. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Indeed. And, and we sponsors. You know what I'm saying? That this is how you do Take it. This you know guy what I'm saying? For high grade, this man. is now, you know. You no, it, us tremendously. I, I helped, but this wouldn't even be here had you and, and your business partner Low not did what you did to get yeah. it to the point of where I had even came in. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah. that work had to be done first. Thanks, so thanks. shout out to y'all for for that opportunity. Um, and, and shout out to you know Havana Cuban Crew and Crystal Lees. Yes. And, of course, my dog, Eric, getting up early as fuck. You yes, know what I'm saying, Eric. dog? With the content creation studio helping me make all this shit possible. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and shout out to, you know, the Mile High Apparel. If you ain't got yours yet, yes. you need to get it. And remember to always have your kush, have a little coffee, and get your robes and, uh, you know, relax a little in the morning so you can motherfucking start the day off right. You dig what I'm saying? Always remember to live life high, honest, intelligent, genuine, humble, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.